Welcome back to the madness. The long overdue video. Whip and chat with my son. Say hello, Jonathan. Hello. I need a break. Oh, shit. Okay, here. Oh, well, no. Um. No. John, do you have an extra blue tray that he can use? I need that one back, Jonathan. Because I'm not into those. Okay. Okay. So you're going to read the question and then you're going to answer what you think and then I'll answer what I think. How's that sound? Little, what did you think I was going to be when I grew up? Hmm. Um, you didn't start voicing what you wanted to be when you grew up until you were in, was it sixth grade? Mm -hmm. And then it was a chef. You wanted to be a chef. Would that be your answer, too? A chef or someone with who works with computers. Why didn't you ever go for that dream? I might. I've been thinking about going back to school. It would be a great... Um, like IT. Yeah. It would be a great career for you. Because you love computers, you know. Oh, yes. I don't like this. And I think you really want, deep down, I think you would be good as a um, desk job. 100%. Yep. Well, you know, right now is the best time for you to do it, Jonathan. Mm -hmm. Before you have kids and... Especially you're still living at home, you know? Alright, so number two. Do you think I have more of your good qualities or your bad qualities? Uh, that's a hard one. I love that you have my uh, organization qualities. You don't like what, babe? The squares. No. Oh. Um, I don't think you have any of my bad qualities. You don't have my hot temper. So I would just have to say you have my good qualities. What do you think? I have your mouth. <laughs> you do have my mouth, yes. Yes, you can cut someone... Your tongue is like a knife. You can cut them right in half. What's the funniest thing I ever said or did as a kid? Um. Well, you were always entertaining. You know? Mm -hmm. So, it's hard to... Say one thing. What do you remember as a kid? You would just be driving. You would be minding your own business. If I don't know where. Snake! Oh my god! Oh, 
damn, you're bringing back memories. Yes. Oh, my God. He would scare me so bad with that. Because it was from, what, Two and a Half Men? Mm-hmm. Yo. Oh, my God. That's hilarious. Okay, yep. When, when was the first time you heard me cuss? Huh. See, I don't know your first time. I think I do. I know Becca's first time. But I don't remember yours. What was yours? I had soap clean in my mouth. No, you didn't. I was in the back seat. Dad said it, and then I just said it. And you yelled at me, and I was like, "Why? Why is it wrong to say it? Dad said it." And then I got soap in my mouth, and then. Honey, you only got soap in your mouth one time, and that's when you were two years old, and you went through this screaming at me face and I told you scream at me one more time and you're getting soap in your mouth and you screamed at me and I put soap in your mouth that's the only time I've ever put soap in your mouth I might have jumped there, you must have because I would not have disciplined for swearing I didn't care if you guys swore the only thing I did care about is that you knew the proper time to swear and not to swear. So after you were like, I don't know, six, seven years old, swearing was not a big deal to me. You just knew when you were in public, it was not appropriate. Next question, babe. Who was the first person you told that you were pregnant with me? Daddy. That's easy. Um, what would you have named me if I was a girl? Um, for you, I didn't have... Well, okay. So, any girl I wanted to name Marietta Elizabeth. <laughs> the look he just gave me. Yeah, but your father said no. Now. If I had my way, I would have named you either Ozzy or Mickey. I don't like either of those. Well, that's what your father said, too. And I said, fine. Then we're naming him Jonathan. And I said, fine. Then I'm naming him after you. And he said, you're not naming the middle name. I said, that's fine. And I'll name him the, what is it, proper name? The long name? I wanted to name you Jonathan instead of John. And I wanted it spelt my way. J-O-H-N-A-T-H-O-N. No, no one can spell it. Because I want it to be pronounced Jonathan. People can spell it once they learn it. They never do. And, okay, but... The weirdest thing was, is when you went to preschool, how many kids were in your class named Jonathan that was spelt the same exact way? Three. Which really pissed me off because I thought I was being unique. Next question, babe. Uh, did I look like you or dad more than to be? Oh my God. Do you not know the answer? Mm -hmm. Your father. Did he look like me or you as a child? Oh, you are your father's twin. And then when Becca came along, oh, my I dyed my hair red so I would look like you guys. Because you and Becca had like this strawberry blonde hair. So I dyed my hair red. Next. Uh, which children's book did you read me the most when I was little? Um. Hmm. Goodbye Moon? No, I never read him Goodbye Moon. Oh, Goodnight Moon. 
Oh, good night, moon. No. Um. That's a circle. Well, what do you think? I read you. That book with the fish. The rainbow fish. Yeah, she was a Good night, Moon. Really? Yeah. Oh, what was that one book that I loved reading that in October? A chocolate fever? No. The Witch and the Mummy, and I had voices to it. Oh, I remember that. The name of it. I love that book. I used to know it by heart, too. And then when you were in first grade, what did I read you? When you were in first grade. Harry Thank you, Johnny. I read you the Harry Potter books. But if I had to, if you asked me what were your favorite books... Because, remember, you were a reader. So, right when you could read, you wanted to read yourself. Um, it was... Oh, what was her name? June Bean? Junie B. Jones. Junie B. Jones. Um, every time we went to the grocery store, he got a... Um, Jonathan, help me out with it. Nickelodeon Magazine. Nickelodeon Magazine, but the... Jughead, oh, Archie, Archie, Archie comment, comics, and <sighs> are you just having problems? It's the third time. Well, you need a blue tray. You're not good with the small trays. You're too much of a man. You manhandle handle stuff, so you're spilling beads everywhere, or drills. Um. And then what, you were fifth grade when you were, uh, they made a movie and I got mad because you went and saw it without reading the books, the rest of the books. Oh, Series of Unfortunate Effects. Yeah. It was only based off the first three books. I was in book four. Well, you didn't explain that to me. And it wasn't really good. But I had a rule. Okay, next one. Or what... Yeah, you already answered your part, right? Yeah. Oh, and you you read the, the Captain Underpants or something like that? Mm -hmm. They just made that into a movie. Did they really? Mm What's the most annoying thing I did as a baby? As a baby? Well, I could tell you right now, you got a nickname from it. Do you know what it was? Nope. You would strip down to your diaper. Oh. Diaper boy. You would not keep clothes on. And you were born in January. So... It never made sense. You always wanted no clothes on. Yeah. I put clothes on you and you would just scream until I only had you in a onesie. And then when you were old enough to figure out how to take them off yourself, you took everything off. Okay, babe, don't make me say I'm next question. Up. Okay. Who helped you take care of me the most often? Your father. No question about that. Your dad was a hands-on father. And I didn't have to ask. And the first time I said to him, would you mind babysitting Jonathan so I could go do something? He was like, it's my child. It's not called babysitting. Yeah, that's the kind of father you had. Frickin' frack! I hate when that happens. 
Which one of my school friends did you hate having over? <laughs> I think I know this person. <laughs> Who do you think? Corey? Corey never came over. But when he did... He, he, he never came over. Jonathan? Mm -hmm. Oh, the other Jonathan. What other Jonathan? He never came over. You didn't really have people come over until you were in middle school, high school. So who did I hate? I even apologized to him two years ago. Oh, Jeremy? Yes. He would annoy the hell out of me. Because when you two, and the only reason why is because when you two got together, it was like you didn't have a brain. All your brain cells left. And going to the store with you two, I'd rather be shot in the head. You were a pain in the ass. But he grew up, he's matured, and now I can stand him. But back then, no. Uh, honey, you did a lot of <laughs> weird things. Uh, what? These Read it. What's your favorite picture of me? Where is it? That no, oh, that's not it. Where is it? Uh, it's in the back room. What? It's when you were three months old. I don't know. So what question did you skip? Because that's not a bad it's one. Be that way, it's like, you gonna put a picture of it on there? No. Did you want me as a boy or a girl? Boy. When I found out that Becca was a girl, I cried. I only wanted boys. Because I never wanted to deal with my child having a heartbreak. And in my mind, boys didn't have heartbreaks. Look at that. And Look at what did I get? I got the son that was an emotional. emotional son. And Becca's the rock. So <laughs> I had that all twisted in my head. How bad did birth hurt? Yours was awful. Because I basically had a um, natural birth with you. Um, they put the epidural in wrong. So from my knees down was numb. And my knees up was not. So I felt everything. And because I had the epidural, they wouldn't give me any drugs. So yours was a natural. Becca's, I had the epidural, and I had drugs. Hers was easier than hell. And your labor, labor went for 32 hours. So yeah, and most of it was hard labor. You were a problem child from the day of conception. My whole 12... Eight, nine months, 12 months, nine months of pregnancy, I was sick all the time. You know what her favorite meal was? Had to have so much, I got sick of it. Huh. Hamburger helper. Hamburger helper. Ooh, but I couldn't fry the hamburger meat, and I still have a hard time frying the hamburger meat. So that's kind of why you like hamburger helper. I love hamburger helper, baby. Yep, hamburger helper or Travis, Travis Burgers. But you can't even get a Travis Burger anymore. What's your very first memory of me? <laughs> That's quite stupid. I told you, this is stupid. When I helped you. <laughs> well, 
It might have been when no, you gave birth to me. It's when um, I didn't get to hold you. Uh, you came out and you went right to the um, warming. warming thing. Because, once again, you were a troubled uh, delivery. Yep. Still do. Okay, next one. I gotta find my next thing. Um, what's the first toy you remember buying? Well, as you know, your mother does not do anything little. So before you were even born, you probably had like 50 toys in your bedroom. So I don't remember the first one I bought. <laughs> what was your favorite toy? Winnie the, Pooh. Winnie the Pooh. Tigger, stuffed animals, you would carry them around. Or, oh my God, John, that stupid, ah. Uh... And I'm, I was, I didn't know. I bought you a whole bunch of noisy toys. The choo-choo train. And you would go, you would hit it and go, choo-choo-choo-choo-choo-choo. But you would keep hitting it and it would just go, choo-choo-choo-choo. And then you would let it go and it'd be like, that thing would go off. Or remember Barney? Possessed Barney? Yeah. That would just go off on its own? Yeah. No batteries. No batteries, no nothing. That... That one was possessed. I ain't even seen that motherfucker way. There's no babies in that fucker. It was crazy. Okay, next one, Johnny. Jonathan. Did you find out my gender before or after I was born? Way before. Well, you're... See, I don't need to find out what the gender is because your father knows already. Yeah. Within the first month of... Conception, whatever you want to call it. Ah, yeah. uh, he told me you're a boy. First month of Becca, he told me it was a girl. And I told him he was wrong with Becca. And no, he wasn't wrong with Becca. Oh, shush. Shush you. Just, just like with Luann. Yes, I know. Were you trying to get pregnant, or did it just happen? <laughs> uh, just, that's a story. <laughs> that's a story in its own. Yeah. Um, it, it just happened. I was told that your father couldn't have children. That's what was told by me by doctors. Yeah, so that's why it just happened. But when we found out, were we happy, John? Yes. We were ecstatic. I found out I was pregnant on Friday. Your father proposed to me on Sunday. Uh, yeah. You know, how did I do it? I was washing dishes, and he yelled through the kitchen window like something was wrong. Becky, come out here. Come out here fast. I run outside. My hands are all soapy and everything. I run outside, and he grabs my shoulders turns me around and he said and he points he goes look and I'm like w w what am I looking at he said that is such a beautiful moon I want to ask you to be my wife or will you be my wife or something like that it was a full moon, was a full moon. and I said yes and he said let's get in the convertible and go for a ride and I'm like I still have dishes and he's like, the dishes can wait. And we jumped in the car. We'll lock the door. Jumped in the car and went for a ride. And that was the first time that um, he showed me Poppy's property and everything. And where he grew up. But one part I did leave out of that, I said to him, you're not marrying me because, you're not asking me because I'm pregnant. And he said, nope. Which, by then, I mean, our, you know, you should know this. Our courtship was so fast. Within a month of us dating, I was moved in and we knew that we were going to be get together. We just knew. 
So. Did you ever drop me as a baby? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I his, didn't. Jumping twice and whacked his head on the door gently. <laughs> did not. Yes, you did. Oh, fuck you. you I mean, what the hell? No, I did not. I did not drop him as a child. Bags. Huh? Bags. Oh, I know. What made me cry the most? Um. Oh, easy. If you had too many clothes on. That or you were hungry. Because, oh my God, you ate. You were one of those children that... At... What was it, John? A month and a half? We had to start putting rice in your bottles because you could not get full, which was a pain in the ass. And a month old, we had pizza with pineapple on it. One of the thin piece pineapple, so you could suck on it and swallow that thing. You, yeah, I was holding it, and you sucked so hard, you swallowed the whole piece of pineapple. But that was at two months. He was already on rice cereal. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, I'm stuck. I don't know. Oh my God. Or tickling you. You love to be tickled. Now you hate it. Mm -hmm. But when you were little, you loved to be tickled. You were a very happy child, so. What? TV show, what I watched the most? Blues Clues. Oh, Barney? Narnie? Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, it was either Barney or Blue's Clues. Did you ever lose me in the supermarket? No. Or anywhere else? No. Nope. I was too paranoid. You were always um, holding one of our hands. Yeah, no. That's back. You were born in the time where there was a lot of kidnappings and stuff. Especially at the hospitals. You weren't allowed to go to the nursery. Either was John was Becca. You went to the nursery for three hours and that was it. Becca never went to the nursery. What's the first movie you took me to go see? Had to be Disney. Um Um Shrek? No. No? Oh, God, we got kicked out. Well, we didn't get kicked out, but. Oh. Old lady kept yelling at your mother because you kept saying apple. I didn't hear it going on, so I just sat in the Yeah, plane. so I just took you out in the hall. And then, and then once your father found out about it, he's like, it is a children's movie. Yeah, it was a woman and her husband. Yep. He should be keeping your, taking your children to movies and laughing stuff. Now, y'all, it's a fucking child's movie, you stupid bitch. Yeah. I am recording, John. Can you kind of keep the swearing down a little? Yeah, so. I can't remember what movie it was, though, but it was a kid's movie. Yeah. I don't know. I do remember taking you to uh, see. Oh, what's the. 
Hercules. You don't remember Hercules? I remember Toy Story 2. Um, no, you couldn't have remembered Toy Story 2 because I haven't seen Toy Story 2. Yeah. No, I haven't. I remember it vividly. I've seen, well, you, okay. We were at Wait, Jonathan, your Mima took you to the movies a lot, too. This was me and you, and we no. went, me, you, and Dad, and then we went, you know, we seen Toy Story 1. It was one, not two. I haven't right. seen two because I'm told that it's very sad at the end, and I'm scared to watch it. Someone took me to see it. Cause I That's what the, I'm telling you. I got the Jesse doll, too. Yeah, it wasn't me. Then we went back to Nana's condo. Oh, wait. Or is it Toy Story 3 where... Toy is, Story 3 came out like a few years ago. Is Jesse in one? No, then okay yes we saw two I haven't seen three three is the sad one right yeah okay so yes we I saw two I haven't seen three then you're right Jonathan um yeah we went and saw that now that you say that we saw it on Thanksgiving Day yep What's but I could have I... sworn that was Toy Story 1. What song did I listen to repeatedly? Um, it wasn't one song. I had all the Disney songs on cassette tape, and we would listen to them over and over and over again in the car. Do you not remember that? Oh, I do. Oh, okay. Well, you were shaking your head. I'm like, got it. do that now. No. But you loved them. Especially the Bell songs. The Beauty and the Beast songs. <gasps> that's what we gotta watch soon. Or that's me and a Morgan thing. I love Bell. I wanna go see The Lion King too. It was recent. It was the day of your wedding. I didn't say anything. I just flashed you the cuffs. Yeah, oh my god. It made me cry. Um, okay, well, it has to do with the wedding. It has to be when you told me what song we were going to dance to. Uh, song. Right. And you said something special when you told me. But you know, Jonathan, it's my memory. I can't remember things. But you made me feel very special. How's that? What's the meanest thing I've ever said to you? You're not that type of child. I don't think you ever said anything that was really mean to me. Okay, what are your answers for these two? I mean, you were always, you always thanked me for being there and doing stuff. So we never had like heart to heart times because we always did things together. What was my favorite stuffed animal? Yeah, Pooh Bear and Tigger. What do you think it was? Oh no, Monkey! Oh, I forgot about Monkey. Monkey, key, key, key. Uh, <laughs> what age of mine did you hate experiencing the most? Three. Three years old. You're a little shithead. It wasn't the terrible twos, it was the terrible three, or the horrible threes, or whatever. Terrific threes. Yeah, when anyone ever says terrible twos, I'm like, 
The twos were fine. It was the threes that I wanted to kill you. Ooh, okay, wait. The funniest thing you ever said? I know now. I remember. Daddy could tell this story better. What did Jonathan say when he came home from the first day of kindergarten? Didn't break any hearts today. Mommy, don't worry. I didn't break any hearts today. Word that comes to mind when you hear my name. Mama boy. Okay, go to the next question. How long were you in labor? 32 hours. I already answered that one. Which one of the parents at my preschool annoyed you the most, or not, at my school annoyed you the most, so whenever? Oh, it's when you went to uh, Washington, and she was on the PTA, and she acted like us coming from Little, we didn't deserve to be in Washington, and us parents didn't have a say in anything. She was tall and skinny, and her her daughter, I think she's, her name started with a C. Do you know who I'm talking about? She blonde? Yes. Oh, no. It was a T, not a C. Okay. What is the worst part about me and my mother? What? What is the worst part about being my mother? There, there is no. What is that supposed to mean? I don't know. Okay, then just skip it because. I told you some of these are dumb. Okay, so it's dumb. Skip it. What was my favorite flavor of food? Baby food. Carrots. Oh, or that there was a dessert that had pineapple in it. You loved pineapple when you were little. What's what's my worst habit? I tell you to do something, you're like, hold on. Or no, no, no. You got you have uh, quite a few. In a minute. In a minute. Yeah, it's not hold on. It's in a minute. Or okay. Anytime I ask you anything, it's okay. It, it, it's been an awful long minute for you to start taking that back home off. <laughs> 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 He's got you on that, Jonathan. It's busy all day. No, not okay. It's all right. It's not okay. All right. All right. Don't give me attitude. I'm not. Right, Jonathan? Mm -hmm. Anything else I'm missing? Of course, because you're perfect, right? Mm -hmm. You're a perfect little baby boy. No Which TV character reminds you the most of me? Next question. Or do you have an answer for that? What family member did you try to keep me far away from? Me? Uncle Danny. Ooh, good. Did I do anything creepy as a kid that scared you? No. Oh, really? Yeah, exactly. Oh, shit. I forgot about that. 
Yeah, but he did it on his own when he was two years old. We were sitting there watching, what is that movie? The Shining. The Shining. And it flashes on the screen. No. What is it? They say red rum? It shows it. They, sh they show it, and it says it, and Jonathan sits up in his bed and says, Murder! I'm like... The hell? We turned that off right away. Was I a fast or a slow learner than everyone else in the class? You were fast. And then you got bored and you wouldn't do your work or anything because you were too advanced for the classes and no one would listen to me. Best drawing they made for you. Oh, I know that. It's us as a family. You were in uh, first grade. And you have daddy like so much taller than all of us. Me the height of you. And Becca crawling as a baby. And it stayed in my room for the longest time. And now it's in your book. You know which one I'm talking about, right? What scared me the most as a kid, Barney? <gasps> okay, yes, Daddy has it right, but he's not saying it right. Anyone in a costume. If they, Chuck E. Cheese was walking through. The Easter Bunny. The Easter Bunny. Anyone in a costume, you would freak out. Barney's head, rarely terrified you. Yeah. Okay, next question. Is there anything about our family history that you kept secret? <laughs> no. I don't keep secrets. Overall, did you consider me a good kid? Yes, except for when it came to schoolwork. That's where we butted heads. But besides that... Yeah, you were an awesome kid. Are you happy with the way it turned out? Deep question. I love how you treat your wife. I love how you respect me to a point, you know. You're still in the house so we're gonna butt heads once in a while but we don't butt heads a lot would you agree with that mm -hmm. the one thing I do have not disappointments because disappointment is a big word to me but what I would like you to work on and change is your career path I expect a better career for yourself and that's just so you can take care of your family easier than what me and your father did. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So I just expect more for your work history. I don't know what you want to call it. Please tell me you didn't put the wrong color on. You're freaking me out here. Oh, they just look really close. Okay. So, is that what you would think I would say? Yeah. That's it. Are you upset with my answer? No. Do you agree with my answer? Yeah. Well, I guess so, because we just had that little talk about you wanting to go back to school, so that makes me very happy. IT. IT. 
computers? Weren't you here when we had that conversation, babe? I had to do I had to say one thing though. Um You have made me proud to be your mother. I loved going to your band concerts. Well, except for the spring concert. I always hated the spring concert. No one should have to listen to fifth graders every freaking year when they're not your kids. But you made me very happy. I'm proud to be your mother, Jonathan Ray. Do you have anything to say about me? No. Oh, thanks. God. I think I did fuck up. Okay, let me see. But they're, they're really close. Okay, let me see. I mixed these symbols up. Let me see. Oh, that is not going to matter. They're really close. No, it's not going to matter. It's detail. It's the jacket. It's not like... It's not like a tree where you have the branches going a certain way and it's shading and stuff. No, it's his jacket. It's not a big deal. And I also like how you made... Um, our dance together special that you actually sang with me and screamed our part together. You made me feel important that day. Are you not paying attention to me now? I I'm lost. <laughs> God. What are you lost on? Where he is. Okay, honey, give me it for a second. Give me the page. Look at it from a distance. So now you need to... What you're basically going to do is where the drills that you have... I'm, I was looking for his arms. Don't worry about that. They're probably in his pocket. So just finish this outline and then you got to do the other one so work on his hat right now do you see his hat yeah. we'll finish his jacket first then his pants, his pants, his pants. oh my god what am I doing H What was your favorite? Okay, now I'm going to ask you some questions. What was your favorite memory as a child? Going to see the first Harry Potter movie. Oh, God, yeah. That was a good moment. What is your best memory from elementary school? <laughs> I thought you would say when you met TJ. No, I hated TJ when I first met him. No way. I fucking hated him. Okay, middle it school. It wouldn't be that day, though. This tall, really tall, you remember David? Yep. The really tall fucker? Stop with swearing right now. He came over and was like, do you want to ride bikes? I'm like, I don't want to ride bikes before. Sure. We went to Tim's house, and that's when we became friends.
Okay, middle school. Say that again. You were cranky and you were stinky. High school. Um, I didn't do middle school yet. Well, you said you were cranky, so. I said oh, I thought you said cranky. Oh, cringy. <laughs> For us, you were cranky. Um, you were yeah, nerdy. You were a nerd. My, it's not my favorite, but it's a funny one. It's, uh, me and TJ were working out the truck in the backyard. And somehow, we needed to lube something up on the engine. And so we did it. But then TJ didn't know that the hood didn't stay up, then it would slam down and slam down on the can and busted the can open. So it just smelled like aerosol. And you guys came home and you were pissed. You're like, are you fucking huffing? Are you guys huffing paint? And we're like, what, is, what even is that? No, <laughs> we broke a can. Cause you and TJ were crazy. school you're probably having to be going to solo an ensemble with oh when you got a one mm -hmm. oh that picture yes I was thinking that or um senior night That was a great night. Okay, so I think... Good job, Jonathan. 52 minutes you talked with me. Did it kill you? Yeah. Was it rough? Yeah. Do you still love me? I don't know. You're an ass. Okay, bye guys. Okay, oh, I can't even speak. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed the madness and we'll see you when we see you bye